of course, anybody, unless you've been hiding under a rock, the, the whole Kanye situation. Oh, we're going straight into Kanye. Straight into Kanye, right? There's so many different <sighs> perspectives you can take from Kanye's actions. So first, of course, we heard that he was running for president. It's not really a topic that I wanted to touch because I didn't really see much coming out of it. I didn't think there would be any activity. I thought it was just Kanye saying wild shit like he likes to say. But then he holds a campaign rally in Charleston, South Carolina, where, for whatever reason, he has beef with Harriet Tubman. Uh, He says Harriet Tubman never actually freed the slaves. She just had the slaves go work for other white people. This this entire thing is very interesting to me. The Kanye West, the evolution of Kanye West. Kanye from polos and backpacks to Kanye with a security vest right now with 2020, um, I guess, not tattooed, but maybe designed in the back of his head. He has just grown so much, and we've seen so much of Kanye. Yeah. And it's almost like we don't know really who really is Kanye, who he is. Mm-hmm. It's unclear because he's he hasn't been the same person throughout the decades. Um, or throughout the time that we've had him, right? One thing that we do know, though, is that mental health, um, he's not healthy mentally. No. We do know that. He's been diagnosed with um, bipolar, bipolar right before he dropped the Yay album. And, I mean, listen, I give you a lot of credit, a lot of respect for coming out and letting the rest of the world know that's what you're struggling with. Mm-hmm. But when that's what you do struggle with, and, and we, it's on our radar, whenever you have these type of outbreaks and these type of... Um, explosions <laughs> explosive type of conversations in public mm-hmm. we're just going to immediately assume that you're having an outbreak of a bipolar episode oh he's absolutely in the middle of a bipolar episode one of the the things that i guess hurt his wife the most was him discussing the potential abortion that they dis- that they had the abortion discussion they had about their first child north and i guess for that for kim because it seems like you can say whatever you want about the kardashians but it seems like kim rides Yo, Kim has been writing. It seems like Kim writes. And she has man. been supporting. And yeah. there's like so this is really funny because like I'm a Kanye fan. Like I well, like I am a Kanye fan. Over, like I think he's done more good over the years than he has done. I mean, bad. I've I've paid to see him in concert. Right, yeah, multiple I've paid to see him twice in concert in the same week because I was fiending. Absolutely. Right? That's my guy, right? Um and my girlfriend's a big Kim Kardashian fan. So whenever mm-hmm. we do have these conversations, she's giving me a lot of the more insight on Kim. And Kim is super supportive. And if you watch Kim as a wife, she's allowed this man to do majority of the craziest things that he's done. Yeah. There's always in the a public line, eye, In the public eye without much. This yeah. has now drawn it, I believe, for yeah, her. This is line. enough. This is yeah. enough. I mean, we're here. Does Kanye listen to anyone? Anyone, anyone, anyone? Any, is there anyone in the world that has can get through to Kanye and say, yo, my man, I got to talk to you real quick. You're bugging out. Well, I just want to put this out there. Like, like we say all the time, there's only like a certain set of people in this world that can that can reach Kanye. And they all have like degrees in mental health. They <laughs> all have like psychology <laughs> degrees. Yeah. They, yeah. They're they all mental health professionals. Those are the only people that can reach uh, Kanye or anybody that's in this in this type of like disorder or breakdown yeah. because that's what he's going through right now. And for me, like I thought it was probably because he released a few singles the past few weeks. I thought it was an album rollout. But then if he's on Twitter saying all the things that he's saying about his family, about them trying to. He said he was he said, he said the movie Get Out was about him. We already knew that. Yeah, but we, did, we didn't know that. I'm, I'm glad that he kind of realized that the movie Get Out was about him. You're, he's doing a lot. And this is sad because now I don't look at anything else but more of like, because what's important to me, family. So now I see a situation in which we have a publicly sick father mm-hmm. who really may not, or it'll be, it'll be hurdles for him to, to see his kids again, I feel like. Because if Kim is looking for doctors, if Kim is trying to get the help, that help is like, hey, I don't think you're healthy enough to see the kids. I think you need to get med- medical attention. I don't see how you're let somebody who needs medical attention back into the house to see the kids. So now it's going to be a fight like, yo, she's trying to keep the kids from me. Yo, she's trying to keep this from me. And I just think that he's going to re- he's gonna spiral out a little bit more when he realizes that he has no control. And it's just going to be really sad to see. Well, that's the thing. Like some, some people in those situations don't realize they don't have control. They think they're in control at the moment. You know, they think the things that they are saying are very relevant and and need to be heard and need to be acknowledged. Mm. And I guess I feel like Kanye has gotten to the point where he feels like his family is not hearing them or acknowledging them. And I just pulled up his Twitter. And the last tweet that he sent out, one of the last tweets that he sent out last night was, I'm going to focus on the music. And then right after that was a track listing 
for his album Donda, named after his mom, after his um his late mom. So there's also another you know point about this where it's a rollout. It's an album rollout. And you oh, could albums coming this Friday. Album this that's what he says. But he's made a lot of proclamations about albums dropping on certain days, and we don't see them shits. Yeah.